So as you can see, we're jumping into today's makeup look. And today's makeup look is basically going to be for Valentine's Day. So we're going to do dark eyeshadow and popping lips. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I will also be inserting like new makeup tips that you guys hopefully will use in your makeup routine. So the foundation I am using is 330 by Maybelline. And uh, it's like toffee or caramel. And I got this. I think this costs probably like between $8, I want to say. But I love this um, foundation. gives great coverage. So I use this on every tutorial I do. Um, I don't use the Fenty no more. But I am currently using this Maybelline. Okay, so the concealer I'm using is made by Black Pink, and it's uh, the color Lion. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it sit for a while, and I'm going to let it dry before I really just spread it over. This is one of the tips that I said I was going to show you guys because I just like the fact that when it's dry, it kind of spreads better. And then we're going to do the dark eyeshadow. So I'm going to do, I'm going to start off in the crease first. And then I'm going to work my way up the brow bone. And then that's when I'm going to apply the heavier shadow on my lids. So I'm basically going to use this flat brush to start applying the shadow on my lids to make it a darker. Um, this brush doesn't have a color. No, I mean, I said a color. <laughs> this brush doesn't have a name, nor does it have a number. So it's kind of like a concealer brush, but I'm going to use it to help me pack on to my eyelids to give my eyelids the darker look. Okay, so now I'm going to use my Wet Beauty Blender and I'm going to go ahead and start smoothing out my concealer. And as you can see, it's creamy, it's thick, it's easy to spread, it's not so much as cakey or too wet. So that's why I decided to start letting my concealer dry a little bit before I start the blending process.
So now I'm going to start contouring using the HD concealer in the color Red Clay. And I'm going to start, of course, accenting my cheekbones, going around my forehead, and even doing a little nose correction. Now I'm going to use the setting powder by Sister, and I'm not going to necessarily let it bake. I'm just going to go ahead and start pressing in that powder. So I'm going to go in with a dark brown just to kind of give the top of my color just a, another like accent color because the black was looking pretty cool but then it just seemed like a little naked like something was, something was missing. So I was like you know what let me just add this darker brown on top just to kind of help the color transition. So now I'm going to go in and do my eyeliner um, with the black pencil made by LA Colors and I will use a separate one for my eyebrows as well so it's made by the same person. So on to the lips, I'm going to use this red lip color and it's uh, called Marlowe and I'm going to of course line my lips. Now this one, this color is a little darker than the lipstick I'm going to put on but it's still going to pull everything together.
Now I'm going in with a bright red lipstick called Obsessed by Pat McGrath. And this right here, honey, let me tell you, this Pat McGrath, baby, it's like butter, okay? It's matte, it goes on smooth, and it's just like popping, okay? You want your lips to be popping. So now I'm going in with my Milani blush in the color 1 Dose Pink and it has basically it has um highlight and it has the pink tint in it so you know I'm going to get this a little flare you know a little shum shum the lips ain't going to be the only thing popping boo <laughs> And as you can tell, I'm already feeling myself. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Tell me what you think about this Valentine's Day look. Subscribe to my channel. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.